All right, back in the shed here. I took a break from uh, the rocker box covers just for a bit so I can take a closer look at the cylinder bores to see if I need new ones or not, see how uh, pitted they are. And uh, one of them cleaned up really nice. You know, like I just lightly used um, some sandpaper by hand, you know, just went in there. This is a 120 I was using for the rocker box cover, so it's, uh, it's not as abrasive as it used to be. And you can see all the rust that was coming off there. Um, it cleaned, cleaned off like really nice and I was going at a uh, 45 degree angle all the way around and uh, you know the cross hatchway and uh, just really light like I didn't dig hard or nothing and uh, but this one this one the pits are pretty deep in there like this isn't so bad it was this side that's really bad but I got like a $25 honing tool today so I'm gonna try to see if I can you know make that look a bit better and as I was out here trying to well, one thing that I noticed was uh, when I was measuring these bores that they're at three and a half, so that was a 1200 kit that was on this bike. And I didn't know that it was a 1200 kit. Uh, the guy that sold it to me didn't say anything about it. Didn't have much information, you know, it was a cheap bike, so uh, yeah. I didn't really think to look <laughs> for that, but yeah, it's a 1200 kit, so I'm kind of more motivated to see if I can get those, get the cylinder bore looking a bit better. Yeah, see what happens. Alright, I just finished messing around with this cylinder bore, and I was using my $25 honing tool. And it worked pretty good. Like, th this was the worst of the pitting. And, like, it, it's, like, pretty much all smooth now. And all that other pitting that was on the other side is gone. There's some uh, junk down here, and that stuff is gone now. But I stopped. Like, I could go more, I guess. But I stopped because... I pulled out this um, digital caliper and I measured the inside of the bore in the front and the back and it's at, it's perfectly at uh, a 3.5 right now so I want to stop there and I'll take this other cylinder bore this one was like nice and clean, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hone it out to 3.5 as well, and order that kit. There's a kit online for 88 bucks or something, and I'm probably gonna buy that and throw it in there. It saves me from having to buy some thousand dollar kit, you know. The uh, 1200 kits and. 1250 kits and 1275 kits I think they have well they're yeah they're like a thousand dollars 1200 after shipping and taxes and that and then even like the stock 883 uh, pistons and cylinders rings they're like six hundred dollars in tax shipping and so uh, if I can get the rings well, for I think they were like $44 for the rings and the pistons were $88 like I'm, I'm laughing if it works but 
It should. It should be good. I'm gonna get to honing the rear cylinder. Alright, I just got finished honing the rear cylinder and it looks pretty good. Uh, the camera's not gonna focus, but it looks pretty good in there now. I got a coat of oil to prevent it from rusting anymore. Uh, I wasn't too worried about this cylinder, but the front one I was worried about. It was pretty ugly and I did some reading online and people are saying that you know like they've run uh, engines with cylinders you know that are you know got super deep scratches and they just give them a good little hone and put new rings in and good to go they don't smoke or nothing uh, the pitting too uh, pitting you shouldn't have anything uh, to worry about um, depends how like deep they are if it's just like a big blast hole in the side of your cylinder wall um, and it's like coming out into the aluminum here then I think you're pretty much screwed with that but I think I was just being OCD and also they were saying uh, if the pitting is close to the combustion chamber then you shouldn't even worry about it because all this, uh, well that's just dirt, but yeah, there's not much pitting, like I was just being like really, really OCD, but yeah. If it's uh, close to the combustion chamber, then it's gonna fill up with junk and carbon and stuff anyways. Yeah, that was the uh, the worst, worst part was this one, this side. And it looks really, really good to me now, good to go. And grab those cheap pistons and rings, put them in, see what happens. That's the plan anyway. Alright, so yeah, if you guys are worried about pitting and stuff like that, it depends like how really bad it is, like a hole or something in there, then you're then you're pooched I think, but I was just being super O C D and worried about those little Well some of that's just dirt, but oh yeah that's that was the worst side but yeah, that's nothing. So it should be good. Alright, I'm gonna cut this video here later.